Hello, my name is Shoy, and today we're going to look at some Immortal Juggernaut gameplay. Now, some players, such as Rage Quitting, have already made a guide for this, so today we're just going to look at gameplay, and that's it, because that's what this one lacks. Alright, let's take a look at that gameplay. So, in this practice, now practice, keep in mind this is practice, this is not sweaty matches, um, we are up against a Sork DPS and a PT DPS with a Sin Tank and an Op Healer. My team has a Scoundrel DPS, a Vence Jug, and a Sork Healer. Now game plan, I figured I will be probably sitting this healer and trying to mez this Sork. Now what do I do on the opener? I look for an early force push like this. Now I can go and help the other teammates. Now keep in mind, I'm going to pause here. The most important thing for me to be doing right now is not my DPS rotation. It is guarding. So now, if I'm not an idiot, I should be swapping guard to Violet, the player on my team that is getting targeted. And I do that, and it was a little bit late, but I try to make up for it with an inner seed. Now I am using my stuns because that is more important than doing damage as a tank. Now I'm going to pause this. I call out to my healer in voice chat that I have not used any of my defensive cooldowns yet and I am perfectly fine. So since we have a burst healer, which is a Sork healer, um, a commando healer would also be able to listen to that, uh, that healer can put priority healing on other people and not me because I can just put my health to full through ED at any time. Now I guard swapped to the player that's taking more damage and that was good on me. You always want to be doing that. Now I should be guard swapping to Brat momentarily here. However, I decide to push the Sork instead, which is completely fine, as Brat used a defensive cooldown to make up for the fact that I did not go ahead and guard him. Now I guard swap to Brat like a good tank. I call out to my healer again, that I have not used my DCDs really and he can priority heal other people. I then use one of my defensive cooldowns to get back up to full health. And again, make sure you use your stuns so that you actually can secure some kills rather than just doing vicious slash over and over like an idiot. Now, I'll pause here real quick. What did we just go over? Um, we went over early force push in the beginning of the round. Make sure you use your stuns. Those are a very, very important thing to be doing. And make sure you are guard swapping two players. And if you're not guard swapping right away, there better be a good reason like pushing someone off the ledge of the map. Now, if there is no ledge on this map, then I would immediately try to go for intimidating roar mez which is a soft stun and also when you use intimidating roar or a grenade you always want to call that out in voice chat because otherwise somebody will break it and that will be a complete waste of a large cooldown now as you can see here the dps of an immortal tank is quite similar to the DPS of um, AOE DPS specs that are not getting a whole lot of cleave opportunities. So that is how you play Immortal Tank Jug in PvP in Group Ranked. Now for credibility purposes, I have to mention that I actually got this flare with the Immortal Tank Jug spec. Now most people see me play Vengeance, but that is not actually how I got this Season 11 Gold. Um, I got Season 11 Gold uh, a couple of years ago, 
and I had to do things like winning a 2v4. Holy crap, I don't like that music. Um, in ranked. So this is a ranked match where this guy named Noble Plays is recording a session where me, Cole, and this guy Kusanagi win a 2v4. So I'm gonna skip forward a bit. So you see that two people are now dead, and now it's just two more left on their side, and we win that in a little bit. And there we go.